Now let's look at one another miracle, miracle number 22, what this uh, dua for Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. Now he was very famous companion, one of the top, and he actually very old. He was one of the uh, oldest Muslims, um, old in the sense the uh, how early he converted to Islam. He was, I think, one of the eight earliest Muslims who accepted Islam, and he was also famous because. Uh, he was among the uh, Ashratul Mubashara, the ten who was who were promised paradise in in this world, right? So, and he has also the honor that he made Hijra three times, uh, you know, the two Abyssinian Hijras and the third one of Medina. So he did all the three. So, you know, as usual, when Muslims migrated from Mecca to Medina, they had to give up all their wealth in Mecca and come back to Medina empty-handed. So Abdur. Uh, uh, Abdurrahman ibn Auf also had nothing with him and when he came to Medina, Rasulullah as usual paired every muhajir with one Ansari so he was paired with an Ansari who was one of the richest person in Medina and you know that story, that famous story that this person, this rich person had two uh, you know, farms or orchards or uh, you know, agricultural lands and he also had two wives. So he told Abdurrahman ibn Auf out of the generosity that, you know, why don't you take one of my archers and uh, if you want, you can marry one of my wives. I, I'll, I'll give you after the divorce, divorcing her. So Abdurrahman ibn Auf, he said, no, may, may, may Allah bless you in your family and your wealth. And he said, just show me the path to the market. Just show me the path to the market. So Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, he hardly had something with him. He went to the market and he started trading, he started business. And he his profits grew rapidly. So and eventually he managed enough money to uh, get married. And when he got married, he went to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, you know he was wearing um, he was he had a lot of perfume on himself a lot of scent he was smelling very good so rasulullah asked him what is this abdul rahman what is this uh, he, you know, what is this perfume basically something special so abdul rahman ibn Auf said that yeah i got married i got married so rasulullah asked how much did you give as uh, mahar dauri so he uh, he said i gave her a date stone weight of gold some amount of gold. So Rasulullah then he made dua for him. He said that may Allah bless you in your wealth. May Allah bestow his blessing on you. And he said you should make a walima for your marriage even with one sheep. So that dua got answered and his wealth was really really blessed. And um, he used to say that you know he used to make so much of profit that he used to say that if I lift up a stone I would find uh, gold or silver basically meaning that you know my business my I, profit can profit comes to me from so many directions so easily that it is as easy as lifting a stone it's very easy and he became like the richest Sahaba in, in Medina and uh, just to give you an example uh, one time you know in Medina uh, you know, Medina is considered like very calm and very peaceful city uh, in those times and all of a sudden people started hearing some rumbling sound, some noise coming from far distance and there was this like dust coming, and the clouds of dust coming on their way. So people were like, uh, uh, got amazed, like what's, what's happening here, it's unusual and they eventually realized that a huge caravan is coming. There's a caravan of like 700 camels were coming and all these camels were full of, uh, full of things, for, full of trading business things. And uh, what happened, everybody started to crowd and, you know, welcome the caravan and, you know, all these goods that they had. And they found out that everything belonged to Abdurrahman ibn Auf. And just to make it short, the story, uh, Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, anhu, he donated the entire caravan to the people of Medina. Everything, every single thing. 
So just imagine how much wealth he had, and even it exceeded that, and 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 he ended up giving to the people who are outside of Medina as well, outskirts of Medina. So that was Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. He had so much of milk, mashallah. He served Islam so much. He gave so much of uh, his wealth to his relatives, Sahaba. Sometime else we'll discuss the rest of the his great contributions to Islam.